tubular steel members make up the single down tube, double cradle frame, and while the factory could have saved some weight and money by using a stressed engine setup, the cradle rails serve to protect the engine and drivetrain a bit. That's good news for a bike meant to tackle terrain. Suspension components at both ends of the bike come with adjustable preload. A fact that cracks me up just a bit considering how many of the big name manufacturers act like any sort of adjustment feature on the front forks will be cost prohibitive. Inverted, 48mm front forks with 37mm inner fork tubes buoy the front on 6.2 inches of travel with a monoshock to support the back on 6.5 inches of travel, measured at the axles. Needless to say, this is pretty plush on the road and really isn't too bad in light terrain, but it's only about half the travel one can expect from the pure off-road machine, so keep that in mind and manage your expectations. A single, 265mm front disc and 220mm rear works with the twin pot anchors to control the 309 pound wet weight. No ABS or linked brakes, but, who would even want that on such a ride, anyway? A 21-inch, laced front wheel leads the way for some true, terrain-busting capability with an 18-incher in back, and both ends come with gnarly street knobbies that are meant to be dual-surface capable, but obviously come with an emphasis on soft-surface traction. In other words, be careful riding this thing on the hard and inclement conditions, 